This is Windows 95 OSR 2.5 OEM running on a Pentium 3 450, 256 megs of RAM, an 8 point something gig hard drive. I think it might be actually 9.6, but I'm pretty sure that it only shows about 9 gigs formatted. It's a Quantum Bigfoot. Um, an ATI Rage Pro Turbo 1X or 2X AGP card. And a Compact Desk Pro EN 6450. And I'm going to show you here that it's going to boot in less than 30 seconds from from uh, power on to the end of IO activity starting in 2, 1, That was it. If you take a close look, it ends at the 1 minute 28 second mark. That is it. As you can see, the system is fully usable. Uh, the system properties, it shows uh, it has a Pentium Pro, but it is actually a Pentium 3. Remember that the Pentium 3 and Pentium 2 are both based on P6, ar uh, P6 architecture like everything else. But they both are pretty much Pentium Pro. Uh, the Pentium Pro, I would guess, is the predecessor to the Pentium 2 and Pentium 3. Uh, they also made a Pentium Pro Overdrive, which was actually a Pentium 2 with 66 MHz frontside bus. But that's another story for another time. You can search that out for yourself on Wikipedia if you so choose to. Uh, the system has 256 megs of RAM. Probably going to drop down to 128. The main, uh, main use for the system is going to be to run a cutting table. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. It says 950C, which is OSR 2.5, which means that it has USB support. We go here and just go through. There are other detected devices. It's Intel PCI Universal Serial Bus. Come on. Yeah, whatever it is. 571998 for USB 1.1. So, you got that. It's got an ES1869 on board, which I think might actually be an 1868F, but it works with the 1869 driver. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, a standard mouse, which is actually one of these Logitech marble mice things, PS2. Um, plug and play, whatever the crud. That's normal. Here's all this stuff. As you can see, it has Intel ICH4 on board. Rage Pro GP2X. Um, in the Admiral Programs uh, control panel, it says it's an ATI Mach 64 driver thing. So I'm guessing that's the package that they use to package it up. I'm just using the ATI driver off of the compact uh, from from one of the compact setup things off the HP website. And then here we go. Generic IDE disk type 01. <laughs> it's actually a Quantum Bigfoot. Uh, trust me. And it's got some light on CD drive. Uh, that should be it. I would think. Yeah. And then all the usual stuff. Yada yada yada. Um, main chipset on this is an Intel 440BX. And it runs very well for what it is. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. Ooh, there we go. Widen 1024 by 768 on a 1440 by 900 19 inch view sonic monitor. With all sorts of different stuff happening for it. <laughs> Alright, that was it. And uh, right now, also, because I want to, I'll give a demonstration of what the uh, MIDI sounds like by playing, I guess, passport.mid.
before I get so many people asking me why the hell did I install Windows 95 on this damn thing? Um, because the software that's going to be running on it requires Windows 95. It also requires two ISA slots, which is exactly why this thing is running Windows 95 and not something else, because I need uh, Windows 95 and two ISA slots. Don't ask. I've already pretty much said what it's going to be running, and I'm not going any further than that. Uh, so, let's just keep it at that. That ends this little uh, excursion for the night into the depths of all the crap that I'm doing. Oh yeah, and check this out. The ATI thing actually has a couple of uh, different things that you can do here with the uh, display properties. Which I find pretty cool. And I guess for monitors that don't support uh, anything like um, advanced adjustment properties, you got some different some stuff here that you can play with. Interesting. <laughs> and of course, the usual settings. There's also a desktop and screen, which I guess are both one's virtual and one's the desktop resolution. I'm not playing with that. That said, that's it. Oh, and get this. While messing around, I was able to get it to turn itself off. So, let's let it turn itself off. That's it. It's off. That's it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment if you so choose to. That's it.